Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you my stealth cluster system. And this is a VLS system that launches this missile up in the air and then drops these bombs on the enemy. Now I'm claiming that this thing is stealthy because I've been testing it for a while and because these guys actually slow down a lot in mid-air the passive radar or the radar depending on what the enemy is using it can't really detect these uh, bombs Because of that, they have a good uh, delivery ratio of like 90%, which is pretty good. And so the system costs around, let's see actually, those cost around 22k, right, almost 23k. And if you do just explosive damage with these guys, you can do almost 50k with just this system. So I'm going to show you the bombs, they're just fins, right? Cluster ejection, explosive, explosive, we have some magnets, so if they miss, they can still become a torpedo. And we have a, a negative radar seeker, which is very important, because if you don't use this, you can't really track the enemy. And you also have a, an internal space for high explosive. Now, later on, we're going to change this, we're going to experiment with you know EMP and frag but for now we're just gonna keep them as they are so this is the main missile and as you get as you can see it's my usual configuration of uh, VLS which is a variable thruster turning thruster some fuel tanks we don't have a, I don't have a predictor here so don't really need it right so when this thing goes up in the air it will launch these bombs at the enemy at around a kilometer away and because these guys drop so uh, high at certain angle the sea whiz or the lamps can't really do anything about it so let's test it against a marauder first so you guys can see exactly it works and <laughs> this is very fast by the way because i have some pneumatic launchers as you can see it goes really high almost in space then it turns so minimum range is one kilometer and maximum range is uh, two kilometers and a half so as you can see it drops the bombs these bombs will really slow down now but they will always reach the target they have enough time to reach the target and some seawells will actually engage the main missile Right, but then it will ignore these uh, bombs basically. There they drop down. So, as you can see, 70k damage there because you know this thing is very fragile. It still survives though. It still survives. So, actually, it's 82k now. So, you can, you know some good damage with this and if you do you know you have a couple of these and you do EMP with frag you can do some really good damage especially to turrets so let's delete this you have to be careful because this is not very IFF friendly because if you have friends right with like a speedboat and they are you know Doing circles around the enemy, you might you might uh, hit them because you know there is a magnet there. And as you can see, that thing exploded. They might come down on the base because sometimes they do that. Anyway, so as you can see, it's not not that huge, right? And I think it's I think it's 40 blocks high. Okay, let's prefab this to E and the four. So we have five now, okay. 
not to select anything right let's try against iron maiden because iron maiden is a quite you know it's a good average ship right uh where is it here and this thing is quite fast i'm not sure what the speed is but uh it's about you know almost 40 guys so we're going to see how the sea whiz is going to react to these bombs now goes up it goes down as you can see it's about 70 degrees right now they're dropping these guys are a bit slow i don't know why you can see they're it's kind of like the arrows in uh, in 300 you can kind of see them we right let's see what happens so as i said the iron maiden is quite fast so you can kind of see the sea whiz is really struggling to do anything. Not much damage because you know explosive against the Iron Maiden. Not very good. Anyway, let's try something different. Okay, let's try against the Excalibur. So here I have around 80k. Cost uh, wise, it's probably around 80k, maybe even 100. Right, let's try Excalibur here. Let's spawn it a little bit closer. Like this. And as you can see, they get launched instantly. And as you can see, the Sea Wiz is actually tracking them. Bomb blitz. Now they are dropping and they're not getting hit as you can see. Because the detection system is not tracking them. Even the Excalibur is quite fast for these uh, type of bombs. Now they're getting tracked again. Not much damage there, not much damage. I expected them to do so much better, but I might just switch them to EMP and see what happens. All right, let's try just EMP now. Let's see what happens. Just EMP. I will try again something much bigger, much slower. But uh, I'm just showing you the limitations of this system. As you can see, it's tracking the big missile, but it's not tracking the small ones or the small bombs. So they are all EMP now. But Excalibur is quite fast as well. As you can see, it's already like out maneuvering these uh, bombs so it needs to be something that is you know like a frontsider but oh, they're not getting tracked by the series now they are so this is just emp yeah that didn't do much against the excalibur so we're gonna switch to something bigger now okay let's try against a palisite let's see what it does palisite is quite slow There's the bombs. By the way, if you drop the bombs like in sequence, so for example, you have a breadboard that fires these missiles one after the other, you get a better result because when they are clamped up like this, as you can see, they can actually get detected even more. But if you drop them, you know, uh, little by little, they actually do a lot better. So. Oh, and it's AI dead instantly. Instantly AI dead on the Palisite. 
can see because this thing is quite open here okay so let's grab one of these and i'm gonna go ahead and try to mix these up a little bit let's see so we're gonna do a frag emp here at the correct angle and then grab this really quickly and as you can see they're quite compact so if you don't need to make a really wide ship you can just make it just have to make it a little bit high um so that's done i'm gonna go ahead and add a bit more uh, these are going to be explosive right grab this up again uh, we're just going to test it like this so we have emp frag and um he Right, let's try it against something, let's try it against the javelin, right? Does the javelin have lamps? I'm not sure. Let's try it, uh, Trabuche here. I'm not sure Trabuche has lamps. So like I said, it's better if you shoot them, you know, one after the other in a sequence. So you can, for example, have one missile controller instead of having all those missile controllers connected to each system and that will also reduce the cost a little bit oh this is this is really good looks really good See what it does to mr rubbish a trouble shay so, oh there goes one of the turrets so the turret is gone and as you can see they have it has countermeasures but uh it's not really working i don't think this thing has lamps though doesn't look like it has oh oh it does have lamps okay so yeah lamps didn't work at all so as you can see they are very devastating even against uh, onyx watch yep. and there goes another turret So let's test it against uh, the stronghold now. We're going to see how uh, effective it is against the stronghold. We're also going to see if the lamps of the stronghold are capable of tracking these uh, bombs. Yeah, that is so satisfying to watch though. Okay, let's, uh, let's supersize this, right? Let's add couple of rows more uh, length and I need width right let's do this so as you can see they are separated right but um, what I can do if you have a system like this you can connect a missile connector just like this and then all you have to do is add a staggered fire for example i have a staggered fire right now so this thing is actually useless but uh i kept it like this just in case you know people want to you know join them together and then all you have to do is make sure that you only have one missile controller for all these systems or you know you can separate them um uh you know to the left and to the right it's up to you Right, so we have quite a lot of them. I think that is seven, right? Seven times three, that's 21. So let's do stronghold here. And we're going to see how these guys work. And 
they should drop now, yep. Let's look how many they are. There is so many. So the stronghold, as you can see, it's not moving. Let's see if the lambs actually tracks them. Not seeing it do... Oh, okay, it is, yep. So as you can see, it, it tracks them a little bit, but then it sort of stops. And look at that damage. Yep. So, not a lot of surface damage, but EMP-wise... They did all right. So as you can see, this is the uh, munition detector. So if you have a bunch of these facing up, right, and you spread them around the ship, you can counter this type of uh, cluster bombs. We have another set here, and you can see it, it tracks them and then sort of stops. And I'm sure there's a better way to uh, angle the frag, but I'm not sure what it is. Definitely opening, uh, opening the uh, stronghold up, I mean. So there should be another volley coming. And here it comes. So this is number three. It's starting to lose some of the turrets there. Oh. So it lost three turrets already. It's pretty good. And it's not using the missile decoys here as well. So I'm not sure if that's a bug with the stronghold itself though. If there's more, there comes another one. Though number four. That was number four, and did it lose another turret? I doesn't look like it, but it's opening up some of these chambers here. But I don't think there's anything yet. Yep, there's nothing here. There's a sonar there. Oh, so, volley number five. But, uh, it's really losing a good amount of HP here, because it's already 87%. Yeah, as you can see, she can't really defend itself against these type of uh, cluster bombs. So, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Make sure to subscribe and like. And next week, I'm actually going to showcase a uh, battleship, which... Uh, can manage to take out the stronghold without any problem and it's quite cheap but I can't I don't want to spoil how uh, efficient and uh, cheap it is there goes another turret anyway I could stand here and watch this all day <laughs> thank you for watching and uh, see you next time